In today's tech review, I'm going over the Stash Investing app, all its pros and cons, who I think it's best designed for, and how you can get $5 on Stash just for signing up. Hey guys, welcome back to Immersive Tech TV. On this channel, I review some of the coolest tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. So if you're new here today, definitely consider subscribing to catch future videos just like this one. Also, at any point, feel free to check out the description box below. I always include a full recap of all the points I covered in today's video, as well as any other points I forgot to mention. So what exactly is Stash? Well, Stash is a newer investing platform that is completely mobile-based and it's available on both Android and iOS devices. The first thing you'll notice about Stash is it has a clean interface and is very user-friendly, especially for new investors to the stock market. In fact, you can get started investing on Stash with as little as $5. Now, the initial idea behind the Stash investing app is stashing away money. Basically, they've set it up so you can set up automatic deposits into your Stash account so you slowly add money to your investments and have your money slowly begin to work for you over time. The first pro of the Stash investing app is, like I said, the minimum investment required. You can get started investing with as little as $5, and that's a lot cheaper than when you compare it to larger brokerages where you may need hundreds of dollars to get started investing and in buying single shares of stocks. Now, it is important to note that all the investment funds available on Stash are actually well-established ETFs from well-known investment firms like Vanguard, BlackRock, etc. It's just that Stash breaks them down into plain English for the average investor, and it makes it a lot more accessible with $5 increments. And furthermore, there are no trading fees or add-on commissions to use the Stash app like there are at larger brokerages. Over time, that really adds up and will save you a lot of money. It is important to remember that there is a $1 monthly fee to use the Stash app, but I'll explain that more in a little bit. Currently, there are 33 pre-selected custom ETF investment options that offer something for every type of investor, whether you want to be super aggressive, super conservative, or somewhere in between. There's also a number of different sectors and niches that you can choose from. Overall, this really takes the guesswork out of investing as you can easily look over the pre-selected options, read their overview and performance, and choose the ETFs that you really like. So now let's get into the cons of the Stash Investing app. So like I said, there is a limited selection. As you saw, there are only about 33 investment options to choose from currently. And adding on to that point, you don't have the option to invest in individual stocks on the Stash Investing app with the exception of one. Other than that, all the other 33 investment funds are all ETFs. And while it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, you don't have the option to invest in individual companies if you truly want to, like you can on, say, the Robinhood investing app. Now, if you are interested in investing in individual stocks and companies, I also did a video review on the Robinhood investing app, which allows that. So I'll put that video up right here so you can check that out if you're interested. And the last con with the Stash investing app is, like I said, there's no desktop platform right now. It's completely mobile-based. It's all on your phone. Now, in terms of pricing, like I said, there are no trading fees or add-on commissions to use the Stash investing app. However, there is a $1 per month fee on balances up to $5,000. And for balances above $5,000, there's just a 0.25% fee per year on those accounts. Plus, your first month on Stash is free. Overall, that's extremely cheap in the world of trading commissions that can range from $5 to $7 per trade at larger brokerages. So when it comes to the question, is investing in Stash safe? Well, it is insured up to $500,000 by the SIPC, like most major brokerages. So in the event that Stash were ever to run into financial troubles and risk shutting down, the SIPC would step in and either transfer your shares to another brokerage or liquidate your account and pay you the value of those assets at the time that that it happened. So who is Stash best designed for? I feel the Stash investing app is best designed for new investors to the stock market who are just looking to get started. And while it is limited, Stash does provide you some choices, tools, and resources to help you build a portfolio that fits your investment objectives. It's also a great option for those who like to invest passively, avoid large trading fees and commissions, and also create a diversified portfolio from their selection of ETFs, which are basically basket of stocks. Lastly, I would say it's also for those who don't mind maintaining their investments on either their smartphone or their tablet, because as you know, it's all mobile based. Now, if you would like to learn more about the Stash investing app, I've linked down my referral link below with a special $5 promotion. The cool thing about Stash is if you sign up using a referral link, both you and I will get $5 added to our Stash account. And once you do join, you can then share your referral link with your own friends so that they can get $5 for signing up and you can get another free $5 for referring them. And that pretty much sums up today's app review on the Stash Investing app. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this on the coolest tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories, I post new videos weekly, so definitely consider subscribing. And if you have any questions on the Stash Investing app, post them down below, I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.